Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. And welcome to this two-part series where I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and clean, decontaminate, and protect your ride. So stay tuned for part one where I'm gonna show you guys how to clean and decontaminate your paint. So the first step in every detail is cleaning and decontaminating the paint. So to most, it would be as simple as a car wash. Well, that is true, but you do want to decontaminate the paint as well. So I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and clay bar your paint and fully decontaminate it so that whenever you apply a wax, sealant, or glaze, it has the best shine and durability possible. So to kick this off, I'm going to go ahead and begin by washing the vehicle. So today I'm going to be using a mixture of two soaps with my foam cannon to wash this Nissan Sentra. So the soap I'm gonna be mixing is gonna be Honeydew Snow Foam, which is a great high foaming soap that's gonna go ahead and pair up well with our Torque Professional Foam Cannon here. Now this tool makes it easy for me to go ahead and lay a thick blanket of foam and lubrication on the vehicle. So once we go ahead and wipe with our wash mitt, we get a lot more lubricated wipe so that we don't scratch the surface. And the second soap I'm pairing it up with is Clean Slate. Now Clean Slate is great because what it does is it strips off any previous coats of wax, sealant or glaze that's on the paint so that whenever we go to apply a fresh one there's not going to be any kind of oils or anything that's on there that's going to be interfering with the application as you guys know whenever you apply a glaze sealant or wax it bonds directly to the pores of the paint which means that you want to have the surface of your paint as bare as possible so that when you apply your coat of wax sealant or glaze it bonds directly to the paint and not to whatever's on it so the way i'm going to utilize these two soaps is as you guys see right here already i have my torque professional foam cannon already diluted with two ounces of honeydew snow foam and I'm gonna add one ounce of Clean Slate, which is gonna go ahead and act as an additive to my soap here to give it a boost in cleaning power so that it breaks down those waxes and sealants. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna apply an ounce of product here, which is equivalent to about one good squirt. And just like that, that's gonna go ahead and give us that added cleaning power so that we can strip those sealants. I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna get my foam cannon head, put it back in, tighten it and now our foam solution is ready to go all we want to do now is give it a stir and we're ready to foam now that i have that set down i'm going to go ahead and insert my two dirt traps into my buckets because remember we want to go ahead and get the best cleanest and most filtered wash so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to grab my two dirt traps if you guys don't know what these dirt traps are they're filtration systems for your bucket so what they do is they allow the dirt and all the contaminants to seep through the holes on the top and it makes it hard for it to resurface because of the smaller holes on the bottom. And it also creates an airtight suction that doesn't allow those contaminants that you're getting off your car, keeping it at the bottom of your bucket so that you're not bringing it back and forth and installing new scratches and swirls. So the way to use these is very easily, all you wanna do is dunk them in at an angle and then set them down towards the bottom of your bucket. So now that those dirt traps are in place, all I'm gonna do now is grab just a little bit more of my clean slate here and I'm gonna go ahead and dedicate one of my buckets as my soap bucket. So I'm gonna use my red dirt trap bucket as my soap bucket. So what I'm gonna do is apply an ounce of clean slate in there so that whenever I go back and forth from my wash mitt to the vehicle, I get a nice more cleaning power from the clean slate that's in there so that I get that lubrication. And like I said, it does its best job at breaking down all those sealants and waxes. So now that I have that set up, I'm gonna give the car a little pre-rinse to knock off any kind of loose dirt and debris. And then we're gonna go ahead and begin with the foaming process. All right, so now that we've finished foaming up the car, it's time to give it a wipe down. Now I'm gonna be using our chenille microfiber wash mitt. I love using this wash mitt because it has these nice soft chenille noodles that agitate the surface of your vehicle, but are soft enough so that they don't scratch the finish and they go ahead and filter out any kind of dirt and grime throughout it so that you don't create any kind of dirt lines and scratch up the finish of your vehicle. So what I wanna do is dunk it right here in your bucket of soap. And then you're gonna go ahead and move on to the car Usually we recommend starting from top to bottom and working in straight motions. And that's just because we wanna make sure that 
you know, if there's anything or any kind of rocks or debris that's on the vehicle, it doesn't get stuck in our wash mitt here and we don't kind of mimic that swirl motion, which is gonna result in those swirl marks, you know, on the paint. So make sure whenever you're wiping down your vehicle, always, always, always use straight motions to avoid the chance of something getting caught on your wash mitt and scratching the finish. Straight motions, you can go left and right, up and down, it doesn't matter, and always work from top down just so that you work from the contamination that's on the top of the vehicle and finish with the contamination on the lower parts of the vehicle. Because as most of you guys know, usually the lower parts of the vehicle are the most dirtiest. So that's where you have all the tar, the grime, the buildup from your tires that kicks up all that dirt that you drive through. So those usually are the most dirtiest. So that's why we recommend always starting from top to bottom. So once you do a, a, a section, I did like half or a quarter of the hood and half the hood here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and wring out my wash mitt. Come back to your rinse bucket, which is just a bucket full of water and with your dirt trap, go ahead and stick it in there. And then what you wanna do is just gently agitate it on the surface of your dirt trap that's at the bottom. And you can also do both sides if you do happen to use both sides of your wash mitt during the wash process. And that's gonna go ahead and kick off any dirt or grime that caught onto your wash mitt. Once you do that, you wanna go ahead and come back out, wring that out, just because the water itself, it'll also help carry any contaminants that are on your wash mitt off very gently and smoothly. Then once you do that, come back to your soap bucket, get it all nice and lathered up, and then you can go ahead and do another section of your vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the vehicle, wiping it down, rinsing it off, drying it, so that I can go ahead and start with you guys on the next process, which is decontaminating. All right guys, so we just finished washing and drying the vehicle and now it's time to move on to the decontamination process. So to do that, I'm gonna be using our synthetic clay block. Now, if you guys haven't seen this before, this is a synthetic clay mixture. So what this is, it's a mixture between a rubber slash clay product that has a sheet of clay right here on one side and then all the other sizes are like a sponge. So you can go ahead and grasp it with your hand and you don't have to worry about kneading it around like you know a traditional clay bar. So this makes it perfect for any kind of beginner or professional to go ahead and get the ease of use of using a clay bar in the vehicle in a convenient clay block. So remember how I was talking to you guys about, you know, washing it. So now we want to take care of the embedded stuff. So the stuff that you don't really see with your eye, but you can definitely hear once you go ahead and rub your hand across the paint, you can kind of hear like a light little raspy feel. If you do have like a white car, the contamination can be kind of identified as like the little brown yellow specks that are on the surface of it. On colors like this, you don't necessarily see it so much just because of the color and it doesn't really reflect it, but you do have those contamination spots from industrial fallout, rail dust, you know, salt, all that stuff plays a factor and can embed itself into your paint and cause it to look bad. So to begin the process, we're gonna be using it with our clay lubricant. Now clay luber is a synthetic lubricant that's designed to go with your clay bar and or a clay block. And it's gonna go ahead and lubricate the surface so we can gently glide this left and right and remove all the embedded contamination without marring the paint or installing any scratches or swirls. So before we start, I do wanna emphasize that we are working outdoors. Usually we recommend doing this indoors in a shaded or garage environment, simply because you wanna make sure that you get the best use out of your clay lubricant. You know, if you're doing outdoors in direct sunlight, it might dry it out and you might not get the best lubrication, but luckily for us, it is kind of a cloudy day, so it's not gonna be a big issue. But if you are outdoors in the sunlight, I do highly recommend that you work indoors for best results. So to use this, it's very easy to use. All you have to do is spray your synthetic clay lubricant. And since we're working outdoors, like I said, we want to make sure that we work in small areas at a time. So we want to make sure that we're doing a two by two section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my clay lubricant in a two by two area. I'm going to grab my clay block. I'm going to spray about two times on it and I'm generally going to go ahead and glide it left and right. And right away you can feel that kind of raspiness that's on the paint. And as you're gliding your clay block left and right, it's going to start kind of getting smoother and smoother. And if you feel like you want to add some more lubrication, feel free to add more by just spraying a little bit more product. 
so that you get the best lubrication possible. Remember, whenever it comes to claying, you wanna make sure that you have the best lubrication so that you don't mar or scratch the finish. Now, this is a key component to claying because remember, you wanna remove the contamination. We're not trying to you know, damage the paint by making it look worse or scratching it. And just like that, you guys will notice that the clay block is great because it spreads a nice even coverage. It has this nice sponge handle that you can grab onto and it applies an even amount of pressure throughout the entire course of the clay block. As you guys can see, it's a bigger coverage than a regular clay bar. So you'll get a lot more surface coverage done a lot sooner, a lot quicker and a lot easier. So with the pressure that you put with the hand, it keeps the play block parallel to the surface and it's always pulling off the contamination on every square inch of this play block here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this off one more light pass. And once you kind of feel like it's just, you know, gliding right over the paint, you can go ahead and finish up with that, grab yourself a microfiber towel and gently just buff off the excess of the clay lubricant. Now you may also kind of, you know, buff off any kind of embedded contamination that you pulled off and then flip it to a dry side just to kind of buff that clean. And it's as easy as that. So once you do that, you can feel the paint. It's nice and glass smooth and it's prepared for the next detailing process. Now, one thing I did forget to mention as I'm cleaning this hood here is the level of contamination that's on this paint. Now, I didn't really, you know, go into detail as far as like the level of contamination on here. Well, the reason I didn't is because the clay block works out great for all levels. So whether contamination is light, not that bad or pretty bad, you can use this clay block to knock off all the level of contamination and restore that glass smooth feel to your paint. One cool thing about this clay block is if I drop it, if I drop it on the floor, I can go ahead and pick it right back up. And one cool thing about this is you can grab water, a quick detail spray, whatever you want to go ahead and use, spray the surface, set your luber down. And then all you got to do is wipe it with the microfiber towel and wipe it clean dry. And it doesn't pick up any rocks, debris, or any kind of fine dust that's going to go in and scratch the vehicle. You just want to make sure that you properly wipe it down with the microfiber towel and inspect it just to make sure that there's nothing on there. And it's great, like I said, for beginners and as a maintenance tool to go ahead and use, you know, over time, using it in between washes here and there every couple months, just to make sure that your paint is always glass smooth. And the last thing I do want to mention is that it works on multitude of surfaces. So not only can we use it on our paint, but we can also use it on our headlights as well. You can go ahead and use it on your headlights to go ahead and decontaminate them before you apply like, you know, a jet seal to protect them, you know, so that we prevent them to, from becoming yellow. You can also use it on any kind of chrome metal surfaces. So it works out great at decontaminating your metal surfaces if there's any kind of, uh, you know, embedded contamination. And it also works great on glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up clay blocking the entire vehicle. Like I said, I'm gonna do the paint, I'm gonna do the glass as well because we can go ahead and protect the glass, the headlights, the chrome. So we're gonna go ahead and do all that and we'll see you guys once we're done. All right, guys, and there you guys have it. The paint is completely clean and decontaminated. You guys saw we washed it with our clean slate, which stripped off all the sealants, waxes, any kind of glazes that are on it. And then we moved on to decontaminating it with our clay block kit. Now you guys saw the clay block, how amazing and easy it was to decontaminate your paint very quickly and efficiently. So now that we've cleaned and decontaminated the paint, it's time to move on to our second part of the series, where we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to shine and protect the finish of your ride. So stay tuned for that. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you learned something new today, comment down below. And as always, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys next time.